Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at Zoom and how you can create a custom virtual background for your video feed. This will be a relatively quick tutorial but if you do find it useful please do click on the like button and hit subscribe it means a lot to the channel um, and with all that said let's jump on over to Zoom. Okay so here I am just within my um, Zoom desktop application and I have this meeting here that I'm about to join and what I'm going to do is just click on start on this meeting and I'm just going to select um, join with computer audio and then maximize this screen. Okay so with um, that done and um, we are now in a meeting what we can do is actually activate our video feed just from the bottom left hand corner here. Um, a shortcut for this would be alt and v um, but I'm just going to click on start video. Now as you can see from this I've actually already included a custom background here um, so this is the sofa and the living room of from the Simpsons um, and I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing for your Zoom meetings. Um, so what you want to do is just navigate over here on the bottom left hand side until you see this arrow. Um, give that a click and then from this um, new um, video feed options you want to select choose virtual background from here there are a few things so there's obviously all of these virtual um, backgrounds that are preset within um, the actual application itself and then you can actually add your own custom images directly into um, that feed as well um, so one thing just to, to point out here is I use AMD um, so there's some functionality that um, you just do not tend to get with that with AMD than you do Intel and um, so Intel have the ability to actually detect your background um, naturally and then remove it for you um, and then apply a, a virtual background AMD don't have the same technology um, so I'm having to use a green screen so if I just click on none you can see that there's a green screen behind me um, and because of that green screen I'm able to actually remove it and put in its place one of these images without the green screen my computer won't work it won't let me do a virtual background so just bear that in mind if you're on Intel you'll probably be okay um, if you're using an AMD um, computer then you're probably going to need um, to actually have a green screen okay um, so what I've got here is um, a green screen as you can see so you can choose um, to select a specific color from that green screen and it obviously will will pop that in for you so um, it doesn't have to be green um, you could use a few of the other colors that work um, so blue magenta etc um, but I'm just using a green screen um, you get the option to mirror your video yay or nay um, and the reason that you do that is um, so that when people see your feed they see it the other way around to what you see it um, like a mirror okay um, so in order to add a custom image uh, along with all of these there's a little plus button just here next to choose virtual background if I give that a click you'll have this option of add an image you just click that um, and then find an image that you would like to actually include in your um, as, as your virtual background so um, I'm just going to choose this one here and as you can see that office guy is uh, in reverse um, if I untick the mirror mode you can see how it flips around the right way um, so you want to mirror it if you've got words um, because that means that it actually gets seen correctly from um, the participants point of view um, or from the other participants point of view um, if you're using a custom background like this where there's no words it generally doesn't matter if you flip it or don't flip it um, it's entirely up to you um, but that is it guys it's um, very simple very easy to go about adding a virtual background into your um, zoom meeting calls and um, i hope you found this useful if you did please click the like button hit subscribe and um, i will catch you guys in the next video